everybody, Dave Williamson from the ToyCarCollector.com. That's right, ToyCarCollector.com, your fabulous source for early Redline Hot Wheels, 1968 to 1977. You know what I'm talking about. If you're watching this video, you're into that, into the Redline Hot Wheels, or maybe just any kind of Hot Wheels, or Matchbox. There's going to be some Matchbox today, too. Matchbox, I love them. They are so cool. And as a matter of fact, the FedEx driver is at my door right this minute delivering another package in addition to all these packages that have come in lately. So let me go answer the door and I'll be right back. There's that FedEx truck driving away, dropping off another package. This one from a private party, not an internet purchase. A private party, four blister packs in that box. I'm not sure what they're going to look like. But take a look at this stack of boxes. These are... All the boxes that have come to me in the last, what, three, four weeks, I think? Haven't had a chance to open anything. I've been so doggone busy. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boxes. Plus this big giant box out of the UK where the Matchbox Club has reproduced some 1980s style square displays and those are going to that is going to be fabulous i haven't had a chance to open it yet but i am excited about opening and that will be on another video not on this video on this video i will be addressing some of these boxes right here so without further ado let's get the fabulous twine knife out that's right this is the fabulous twine knife that one of my customers sent me his grandfather created this little guy right here and we open our boxes with that guy and let's get started right now okay before I get started, I need to crack open this seltzer water, a Kroger lemon lime seltzer water. I highly recommend this for your relaxation and pleasure. Mmm. Those things are so good when they are cold, but when they are warm, they are not good. Check this out. Before we get started on the Hot Wheels, check this out. I went to some yard sales this last weekend. There was a big neighborhood yard sale. Got there early in the morning. The first place I went, I found these crazy Batman cards look at these 1966 black bat batman cards got these for five bucks at a yard sale isn't that cool it's not a complete set or anything and they're in pretty good shape not like mint or anything but geez check out the artwork on these things there's a beautiful yeah it was really neat it was like a real old neighborhood and stuff that was cool got a bunch of those also got a big pile of these crazy things look at this these are called Kooky plaque. Kooky plaque. It's also some sort of thing that came with bubble gum, I suspect. Tell me all you know. I got a minute to spare. You know, all kinds of insults and whatnot, which were real popular in the 60s. All our dads knew these back in the day. These were printed in, I believe, 1965. Anyway, I got this big stack of these for two bucks. Isn't that cool? Checked on eBay, and the uh, smaller lot than this sold for 175 bucks. So I am hopeful that. I will be able to make some money on this and pay for that five hours of garage sale shopping where I didn't find anything else for crying out loud. Okay, enough of that. Let's get this box open right here. Let's get this box open. Now, hey, when it comes to Hot Wheels, I have never found a single Hot Wheel at a garage sale, yard sale, estate sale, or any of that stuff. I know some people have, but I have not. Never that. I found some nice Barbie stuff. Found some cards. I got a... Beatles reel-to-reel -reel tape the other day. That was pretty cool. I get some some interesting things here and there, some cameras and whatnot. Okay, this is supposed to be four blister packs. Four blister packs and a receipt. What did they buy? A toner cartridge. Okay, Amazon receipt. Let's move this out of the way. Back onto the floor. Hey, what do you think of all these bubble bags? For crying out loud, my wife goes crazy when I pop them in the house. All right, let's see what we've got right here. Oh, this is the this is the one I really wanted in the lot. Oh, yeah. Nitty gritty kitty. But look at that aqua paint. Holy smokes. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, let's see. Looks like there might be a little corrosion on that base. Oh, yeah. Eh, take nab it. A little corrosion on the base, but that's okay. Because look at that. Um, look at that beautiful motor. That paint job is fantastic. That is probably the prettiest aqua nitty gritty kitty I have ever seen. That is a beauty, beauty. 
Yep, real nice, real nice. Card's kind of messed up. <clears throat> Maybe I can open it, but let's take a look underneath here. I think I will leave this in the blister. That is a beauty. One of the four blisters in this little purchase. Let's see what else we've got. I light my Firebird, light my Firebird. Okay, that package is pretty hammered. I didn't notice in the pictures that it was this bad off, but it is bad. Light my Firebird. There it is. Well, well, well. Still a nice car in there, but that package is not good. Not good at all. All right, put that aside there. And let's see, number three is a Carabo. Carabo, halfway decent package. Not too bad. Beautiful blue Carabo in there. I think I need a blue Carabo. It's got some spotting on the back there, a little spotting in there, so I'm probably not going to open that one out of the package with the spotting. No sense in that. We'll just leave her right in that package. I'm going to put that in a blister pack protector and it'll help smooth that out a bit. So there is the Carabo. All right, the fourth blister in the box. Hey, check it out. She threw in a free catalog. I have some of these now. Look at that. The Hot Wheels Collector's Book. This was the book we all used back in 1989-90. And it showed 559 Hot Wheels that had been made up to that point. So it was pretty easy to collect back then. If you just wanted the original Hot Wheels. And some of the black walls too. It's, this book covers up to 1989. It's a nice book. If you need a copy of it, let me know. Alrighty. And the fourth and final blister pack in the lot today is a fire chief cruiser fire chief cruiser i had high hopes for this one but mm, not so great i definitely overpaid for this lot but i was hoping for the mint nitty gritty kitty and i did get that it is a beauty it is a beauty however it does have a little corrosion on the base and i don't like that so i will not be able to add this to my collection will i uh, i can see it down there i might have to take a closer inspection but it looks kind of it looks just kind of cloudy on the metal. You probably can't see it there. A little cloudy in there. But that is a beautiful car. Never seen one quite that nice in aqua. So that's outstanding. Fire Chief Cruiser. It's a little rough. That's very rough. But look at that. Still unpunched. Isn't that crazy? Button's kind of hanging out of it. A little. Uh, it's pretty much open all the way across the top. But it does have a nice paint job. It's kind of weird though because it's uh, really bright red on the front. Really bright red on the front, a little toned here, real clear here, and then uh, a bunch of paint on the tip there, almost like a little spoiler, like a little shadow. Pretty interesting. So that's pretty rough. All right, well, well, well. There's four blister packs. Four blister packs is a lot better than no blister packs, so let's move on to another box. All right, this next batch, uh, I bought this from a guy who sent me an email, said he had this carry case, a few Hot Wheels, a few Matchbox, and a few odds and ends. And oh dear, I hope he didn't try to stuff them all in this box, but I think he did, which will probably make a big mess out of the box. So let's open this up and see what we've got. We've got a carry case. Oh boy, looks like he did. That's gonna screw up the drawers in this thing, I think, but let's open it up and see. Probably bent them all out of shape. Well, there's nothing in there. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? It is a nice carry case, needs a little cleaning, but it's pretty nice. Okay, yeah, there we go, yeah. Well, that's not bad, not bad, all right. Let's get down in there. All right. There goes the UPS guy. All right, uh, okay, so that just got bent a little bit. I was afraid he might do that, but it looks like it only did that once or twice. So let's take a look in here. Heavy smell of smoke in this set. Oh, this is real neat. What is on top of that? It's some sort of goo on there. Gosh darn it, I hate that. You know, you, you never know when there's going to be like some little goopy thing on on the car that you bought. This is a Corgi toy Chevy Impala Kennel Club. You open that up and I think you can get the dog out of there. It's got a little door on the side. I've never seen this before. When he showed me the picture, I said, I got to have that. That's really neat. There's a little door on the back. A couple dogs in there. Look at that. Look at those dogs in there. That's cool. That is a nice shape. Well, it's got a little, you know, I always say that, and then I look a little closer, and there's a big ding right there, a couple of chips down in there, but that's not bad. This looks like maybe it's been glued on or something. There's this black stuff. I think that they'd put, 
Maybe they put some glue on it. Yeah, probably the person who had it put some glue on it, then stuck it in this box, and then got that black stuff on it. But that's not bad. I'm going to leave that alone. My experience tells me whenever you get into a situation like that, leave it alone, because it's not going to get better. All right, here we got, look at this. This is another little Corgi toy, police mobile. A little police mobile with diamond headlights. Isn't that cool? Corgi toys, Austin minivan. That is way cool. I love that. In fact, of course, they got a, a Mini in the Hot Wheels line right now, which is real neat, but I like that. It comes with a policeman, too, who's in here somewhere. What do we got here? Oh, it's like a... Oh, look at this. It is some sort of a decal sheet. I wonder what it's for. Maybe it's for a model. Maybe it's for something in here. Don't always ask for Castro. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what that's from, but it was in the box. I think he found this at an estate sale or something. I think it was a clean-out sale of a house. Okay, these are the two guys that go. There's the policeman that goes with the with the little Corey police guy over there. All right, pretty cool. And let's see, what do we got in here? Oh, something in here. Oh, a little teeny tiny cannon. Look at that. It's like a charm. Got a little hook on there. Maybe it's a Cracker Jack prize or something. Doesn't have any names on it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, that's what I liked about this little lot. It was just a variety of neat little stuff. Oh, and a couple of Hot Wheels. Oh, hey, look at that. Orange Fleet Side, Hong Kong. Very nice. Oh, that's very nice. That is very nice for Hong Kong. You know, that's just Hong Kong. It's got kind of a burnt orange look. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I knew there was some good stuff in here. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got a little matchbox truck. No big deal there. It's a little water truck. This thing's actually pretty old, like 1960. Yeah, it's neat enough to have. Always like old matchbox. Not as popular as they used to be. Oh, hey, this is neat. This is neat. This is really neat. I don't know who made this, but uh, it's a little cast metal toy. It says Japan on the side. One of the neatest ones I've ever seen. Look at those little shiny wheels. That's really neat. I like to display those. I've got a variety of that kind of stuff. Real neat. What do you got here now? Oh, look at this tractor. I think this looks like it came from the same company. Interesting. Looks like they hand bent these little hubby things. Yeah. That's neat. A little tiny tractor. Little tiny trick. Uh, all right. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, hey, here's one more gentle Japanese toy. Wow, look at that. It's even got a little crane and a rope thing. Look at that. That's really neat. That is an old little toy. What do you think? Dime store toy or something? I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty neat, though. All right. Looks like I'm starting a new collection. Let's see what's in here. Ah, oh, it feels like a silhouette. Yep, green silhouette, dark interior. i actually seen quite a few of these with the green with the dark interior. This one's got a little faded on the side here. Didn't quite get enough paint on that side right there. Still nice. Near mint, perhaps. I got a little rubs on the front there. Not bad. Not bad little car. And let's see here. Oh, hey, yeah. That's probably why I bought the collection right there. Look at that. Green Camaro. Got some residue there from a stripe. I've got some new cleaner stuff I have to try on that. Doesn't hurt plastic. That's actually pretty darn nice. I mean, it's hard to get any Camaros in any kind of colors. This one's got a little bent right there. And hood opens fine. Closes is fine, pretty decent. Got some spotting issues and some sticker residue issues, but not a bad Camaro at all. Not a bad Camaro at all. This would be the last Hot Wheel. Three matchbox in there. Let's see, oh, light my fire. <laughs> custom Firebird, real nice one. That's real nice, custom Firebird. Red with a white interior, super popular. That's a good one. That is a good little set there. Look at that. And they've got some matchbox. Oops, empty box. Oh well. I got a whole bunch of empty boxes. Kind of save them. 
All right, and here's a little Jeep, a little standard Jeep, number 72. Of course, the wheels always fall off of these because the hubs have shrank over the years. Nice little standard Jeep. Very popular model. Everybody loves the standard Jeep. How could you not? All right, that box kind of goobered up. Speaking of which, I got somebody who wants to sell my 300 matchbox in the boxes. I got to go look at that, don't I? Hmm. About average condition right there on the ESO Griffel number 14. Nice looking piece. Very nice. Box is okay. It's got a little goober on there. A little. Not bad though. It's a good little set. This one needs to be dusted off, otherwise it is fine. And then there's the case. Got a whole few buttons in here. Eldorado, Mustang, Silhouette. What else? Twin Mill. That car was not included. The Twin Mill. Custom Camaro. Got that. And Custom Fleet Side. Okay, so we got the Fleet Side. Did not get the Eldorado or the Twin Mill. Got the Fleet Side, the Camaro, the Silhouette, and the Mus... No, no Mustang. Nope. There's no Mustang in there. I wonder if the guy who sold me this kept those. They got lost out of this collection at some point, didn't they? All right. Well, let's summarize this and let's see what else we've got. Okay, let's take a look and see what came in in these last two boxes that I opened for you today. Got the Corgi Kennel Club car, which is based on a Chevrolet Impala. Got the Corgi Mini police car. That's real nice. The little mini police car comes with the, with the, look at that, police officer. And it's, what, what kind of dog would that be? That would be a, da, 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 that's a, um, kind of right on the tip of my tongue. Police dog, police dog, police dog, police dog. Ah, oh, gosh, I can't remember. Please dog, please dog, please dog. What is it? What is it? What is this? Uh, it's not that. Da, da, da. Oh, it's um. Shoot! Dang. All right. You tell me what that is. That is a police dog right there. He's a cutie. What in the heck kind of dog is that? Oh boy, what an idiot. All right. Anyway, police cruiser. Look at that. A police car. Speaking of police cars, I got a fire chief cruiser in the Hot Wheels. Look at that fleet side orange. Fleet side, green, Camaro, Firebird. Everybody loves the Firebird. Look at that silhouette. All of the original 16 and check it out. Got the buttons to go with it right there. Beautiful buttons. How about this? Look at that Japanese made little dime store toys. The tractor, look at that. The blue one is really cool. The red one is cool. Those are all cool. Look at that and the little, Oh yeah, look at that. That is cool. I got another Matchbox water truck over there. Pretty cool. Coming back around here, we got the dis carry case, 1966. That's actually a Mattel Toys carry case. Holds 40 cars and two red trays. Pretty neat deal. And then we've got our blister packs. The red Fire Chief Cruiser. Nice red Fire Chief Cruiser. The Aqua Nitty Gritty Kitty. Aqua Nitty Gritty Kitty. I almost said Aqua. And the blue Carabo, blue Carabo, and the blue Light My Firebird. These are going to be some bargain price blister packs on my website. I don't know if you've been watching, but I've got a lot of blister packs. So come on over to the website, toycarcollector.com, and see all the red lines that are for sale today. I have lots more, and I'm also working on, don't tell anybody, but I'm working on the largest collection I have ever bought. It might be sometime in the next couple of months, but it's going to be fantastic. How about 400 red lines in the blister pack? Can you imagine? That's crazy. Now, don't tell anybody. Please don't tell anybody. All right, this has been ToyCarCollector.com. Stay tuned and watch out for my next video. I got lots more boxes to open. I can't make the videos too long because it tires everybody out. So come on back for another fabulous episode of Toy Car Collector opening up boxes of cool stuff that came in here today. All right, thanks, people. Bye now.